Hi folks, today is September the 4th. We're going to look at trading. Let me bring this up real quick. Uh, we're going to look at trading the ISM non-manufacturing PMI. comes out at 10 o'clock. have about 8 minutes to go. As you guys can see, we're already in the uh, negative for the day. We had a, it was the Euro ECB minimum bid rate today and um, the European Central Bank did decide to cut interest rates. So that uh, obviously led to a loss for us because we were uh, set up for a trap trade. So that's what happened in that situation. Doesn't happen often. We didn't expect that to happen, but um, no system doesn't have losers. And that was, uh, like I said, just a, a big surprise there. So um, it is what it is. Anyway, we also had, let me bring this over here. All right, I also set up for the GBP official bank rate today. That was a no trade Euro ECB minimum bid rate. That was our loser. ADP non-farm employment change. That uh, was a no trade. We weren't filled. The unemployment claims, I was able to make a profit on that one. This has easily been one of our safest trades. It's a, a risk one trap trade. And now we're going to be doing the ISM non-manufacturing PMI. So I'm hoping we can uh, make some money here. Okay, let me come back over here and show you guys our setup for this release. All right, this is going to be a traditional um, bracket trade, eight ticks for the stop, and we're going to be using a three tick bracket. All right, this is a risk two trade. As you guys can see here, I have my 6J charts already here, so I'm going to go ahead and start this now. First thing I always try to do is make sure that my brackets are going to enter in time or enter at the proper time excuse me so we're going to try this for 955.08 if it works I'll just go ahead and cancel them out real quick and if it doesn't I already know the reason why Order pending. Order canceled. All right. So that worked as it should. I thought I might have set my time too close. Sometimes it doesn't let me uh, into the brackets when I do that. All right. So we can go ahead and get this set up properly now. Set this to true. Set this to 10 or to 8. Excuse me. And we'll go this to strategy internal. Profit target of 20 is fine. Position size is fine. Break even trigger of 10. We'll set this for 959.58. Our 57 will work. All right, and our uh, bracket distance is going to be 3. Let me double check this real quick. All right, everything looks good. Click apply. And as usual, if I see any uh, early spikes, I'll go ahead and just uh, exit the uh, software by uh, clicking enabled right here. All right, so I'll be back with you guys in a couple minutes. All right, we have about 40 seconds to go. I just took a look at this uh, ECB minimum bid rate. I didn't pay attention and notice that it was a risk three trade. I otherwise wouldn't I uh, or excuse me I wouldn't have otherwise taken that trade I usually only take risk one and risk two anyway all right we got about 10 seconds to go order pending here we go order pending all right we are in small trade small move rather order filled all right and the reason I went ahead and did that I usually like to either see a uh, nice initial spike or either I'll just go ahead and move my stop and break even up I don't like to take that chance that it's gonna just turn around and reverse on me because we have no earthly idea what the market is going to decide to do. So, 
my two uh, risk two trades, or excuse me, my uh, risk one and risk two trade were both uh, profitable. The only trade that was not profitable today was the uh, Euro ECB minimum bid rate trap trade this morning. And again, that was a risk three. And uh, we also had a bit of a uh, surprise in that the uh, European Central Bank decided to cut interest rates. So um, not really much else to say on today. Ended up uh, down $175. Uh, made some bad decisions with taking that risk three trade, but like I said, we uh, had no way of uh, knowing that they were going to cut interest rates. So with that being said, I think uh, that's going to be it. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Also, Keltner Pro had a couple. Uh, actually, they had more than a couple. They had several trades today, so you might want to check the website and see what Keltner Pro is doing because there have been uh, some, some really good moves there. Anyway, that's it, and I'll see you guys on the next video.